Tiger's ex, Erica Herman, is accusing him of sexual harassment. She claims it dates back to the beginning of their romance in 2015 while she worked for him at his Florida restaurant, The Woods Jupiter. NBC legal analyst Danny Savalos explains. The imbalance in the power dynamic here is tremendous. You have Tiger Woods on the one hand and someone who was formerly a manager at Tiger Woods restaurant. Sexual harassment cases are so difficult to prove that it wouldn't surprise me if Ms. Herman never actually alleges sexual harassment as a claim for damages against Woods, even if she uses it to get out of this arbitration agreement. According to court documents filed by Herman, she claims she was forced to sign an NDA or arbitration agreement or else be fired from her job. So I have her signature on a line that has her name. Tiger and Erica were not in court today, just their attorneys. Tiger's team fighting to enforce the NDA to keep the case in private arbitration. But Herman's attorney today claims she doesn't remember signing the NDA and doesn't recognize her signature on it. This is a long shot argument. Plenty of people will claim they don't remember signing a contract, but it's often easy to prove that they did in fact sign the contract, especially if someone's familiar with their signature. If Ms. Herman signed the non-disclosure and arbitration agreement, then Tiger Woods' path to victory is pretty straightforward. Generally speaking, if somebody signs a non-disclosure and arbitration agreement, courts will enforce it. If the NDA is enforced, it could make the $30 million lawsuit Herman filed against Tiger's Trust two months ago more difficult to win. In that suit, Herman claims that after they broke up in October of 2022, he locked her out of his Florida mansion where they'd lived together, claiming it was by trickery.